All right, welcome, friends. Got a little Super Bowl Sunday flight. Looking out the left side of the aircraft here, you can see down there just the vast, flat plains, the breadbasket of America. Yes, where else would you want to go in the middle of February but Lincoln, Nebraska? Yes, Lincoln, Nebraska is where we're headed on Valentine's Day Eve. Why? Well, why not? Just let it 270. Let me give you a few updates. You'll notice it's awfully quiet. That's because ATC has failed. It's one of those situations where we can hear ourselves broadcast, but we cannot hear anything from ATC. However, we've been cleared down to 3,700 feet. We're descending at 2,000 feet per minute. We're 46 miles from the airport. We're at 15,100 feet, doing 270 knots. So we're nicely positioned. When we took off, the winds were out of the north in Lincoln, Nebraska, where the current weather is a balmy 31 degrees, mostly sunny, beautiful day, as you can see, if a little chilly, compared to my backyard, where it is currently 85 degrees. Winds were out of the north, as I said, uh, when we took off from uh, um, Palomar, McClellan, um, right near Legoland in northern San Diego County. Uh, but they have since shifted. Winds are now out of the south at about six miles an hour. I'm planning on just doing a tailwind landing. It's an hard to have approach to runway 36 due north. We'll slow to 265. Um, but there is an ILS frequency, so we've entered that in 109.9. See how we're only hearing my transmission. Minneapolis Center, Cessna, November, tree four, tree Bravo, anyway, my point is feet, that um, the runway is very long, 12,000 feet. Airport elevation, 1,219 feet. Touchdown zone, touch down zone elevation, 1,175. Approach course, 357. Runway length, as I mentioned, 12,000 feet. So my point in saying all that is it's more than acceptable to land with a pretty mild tailwind like that of just six miles an hour, about four knots. Took off two hours and 23 minutes and 56 seconds ago on this beautiful flight from Carlsbad. A friend of mine asked me if I'll be watching the game today just now. Yes, of course I shall. Slow to 260. As we close in on 10,000 feet, 33 miles out now, shallow our descent rate to 1,800 feet per minute. And now, as we bust 10,000, we want to be at 250 or less. And we are. Shallow our descent rate even more, down to 1,500 feet per minute. As we get ready to make our left turn, I'll show you our approach. There it is. Good. It's very straightforward, just a big left turn. Final is 10.9 uh, nautical miles. Head glue. Gone B is where we want to be at 3,700, which is what we've been turned, uh, dis ordered to descend to. And then Judad right there. Judad Conby. Come on, Judad. Where are you, bud? There it is right there. Judad, we're going to be at uh, 2,800 feet. And as I said, a, a 10.9 nautical mile final. Shallow water set rate even more down to 1,000 feet per minute. We'll slow to 240. Looks really good out there. Beautiful. Cold, but beautiful. A little greener than I think it probably should look, given that it's February 13th. But I'll allow it. 26 miles out, 8,100 feet. Shallower descent rate even more, down to 700 feet per minute, and slow to 230. Once we make that left turn, we're on final. Left turn's coming up. We'll zoom in here on our MFD. There's Gonby right there. Heglu and Gonby.
Beautiful. Twenty-three miles out now, seven thousand six hundred feet. Remember the airport elevation, twelve hundred feet. So, allow that to figure into your analysis. Once we make that left turn at Gonby, right there, we'll switch over our nav source to nav one and fly the ILS. 20 miles out now, 7,300 feet. Shallow, or, or rather, we'll slow to 220. And we'll use our speed brakes here. Help us slow down just a little bit more. Down to 200 knots. See, our speed brakes are deployed. And we'll retract them now. Nineteen miles, six thousand nine hundred feet. Just perfect. Let's get our landing lights on. Zoom in on our MFD down to ten. Coming up over head glue now. Take a look. Head glue and Gombe is next. Gombe is showing as one minute nine seconds and four point five nautical miles. All right, there's our tower handoff. Let's zoom in down again, down to five. Lincoln Tower, Cessna, November, tree four, tree Bravo, whiskey. Begin that left turn. Turn off half bank mode. Cleared RNAV runway tree six approach Cessna, tree Bravo. Okay, we're cleared for the RNAV. Fifteen miles out now. We'll slow one nine or zero. We'll increase our descent rate slightly again to nine hundred feet per minute. Making the left turn. Getting ready to turn final. And now's a good time to switch our nav source over to nav one. And you see how the CDI immediately adjusts from magenta to green, indicating that we are using ILS. Slow to 185. Turning left. Looks beautiful. Airport should be inside here momentarily. There it is. There's the runway right there. Slow to 180. Increase our descent rate. A little bit high according to the PFD here, showing this green diamond a little bit low. That's okay though. We'll figure it out. Slow to 175. Landing we'll go ahead and do a notch Landing of flaps. Uh, let's use our speed brakes Landing just to help gear. us slow down. Okay, it's coming up now nicely. Get ready to activate APPR mode. Retract those speed brakes. Do a notch of flaps. Just 9.4 nautical miles out now, so. Slow to 170. RA showing 2400 AGL. Activate APPR. And we instantaneously grab the glide slope. Beautiful. Let's go outside, put down the gear. Gear's coming down. Outstanding. Continue slowing. Down to 160. Our approach speed is 139 for this. Let's zoom in on our MFD to a bit more. Down to 2. We are still on glide slope, and we are aligned. Landing lights are on, gear is down. Another notch of flaps. We'll slow to 139, our approach speed. Outer marker indicator. Go we'll full flaps. Clear to land, runway tree, six Cessna, tree Bravo, whiskey. Nice. I'm showing a mild tailwind, even up here at this altitude. It's coming at us at about, about our 8 o'clock. 8 knots, which hopefully continues to diminish. Reconfirm. Landing lights on. Gear down. Yes. Full flaps. 
Stabilize. Runway inside. We've got Vasi, white. Red over white. And there's a beautiful, long, giant runway there. I'm expecting it will turn right, but I don't know. Airspeed looks good. 140. Set to 139. Two mile final. Disconnect auto throttle. Remaining on glide slow, stabilized. Seven hundred AGL. Still showing red over white on the bus. Wait for the 500 call out. Disconnect the autopilot. 500. Autopilot. I have the airplane. Airspeed's perfect. 139. Are going to land with a mild tailwind. Nothing we can't handle. Six knots. Stabilized. Runway in sight. Runway 36 confirmed. Twenty. Ten. Pretty butter. Spoilers are up. Versus on. Using a little bit of left aileron, a little bit of right rudder. All right, friends. Looks like we got a high speed exit coming up on our right. There it is. There's a car crash. <laughs> There's a vehicle crossing the runway. An active runway where an aircraft just landed. That's hilarious. I'm gonna fucking just gun it, dude. Gun it. <laughs> That's great. No, now's not the time to stop. That was funny. All right, friends. Welcome to Lincoln, Nebraska. Local time, 3.11 p.m. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and contact ground. Ground services. Ground services. No, ground. Contact ground and taxi to parking. Hopefully it's exit to the right. I wasn't sure. Let's clean up the airplane. Landing lights are off. Taxi lights on. Pulse lights off. Stop our timer. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using taxi. Two hours thirty-four minutes. Oh, they do have to go to the left. All right, no big deal. Let's bring in our spoilers. <laughs> that car. <laughs> spoilers and flaps retracted. That went pretty, pretty good. Lincoln, Nebraska. Just where you want to be on February 13th. That went pretty well. Pretty smooth. I mean, other than the car, that's not... I mean, I can't be responsible for a car on the active runway. But other than that, pretty pretty good. I don't know where I'm gonna go after Lincoln, Nebraska. I got a busy week ahead of me at work. I guess we're stuck in Lincoln for a while. No offense, Lincoln. I'm sure it's a beautiful town. I'm just trying to remember if I've ever landed in Lincoln. Anyway, yeah, ATC failed like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes after we took off from from uh, from Palomar, McClellan. Uh, but in all other respects, it's been pretty stable. our 
parking space is. There's another car. Why are all these cars driving around on the airport grounds? What is going on here? Oh, we're going to have to slice right through. He, it's fortunate that he looks like a stick of butter because I'm going to cut right through him like one. God knows where they're going to park us. Little toe break. Left. There we go. I don't know where they're going to put us. God, they're driving us all over creation. Oh, I see our parking space. Okay, good. It's right over here. Another car we're going to have to slice through. Look how big this plane is compared to the vehicle. Nice. Little Skyhawk. It's a nice flight. Perfect weather. All right. Let's go park. Got to go watch the Super Bowl, right? I'm rooting for the American team. All right, there's our parking space. I have no idea where I'm staying here in Lincoln. Turn up our taxi light. Is he waving me in or not? Kind of looks like he stopped. All right. Well, I'll take it. The bars went away. That's a good sign. Okay. Parking brake. Right engine. Pedo static. Lights. Knowledge. Safety master warning. Take a look outside. Looks good. I don't know why there are so many cars driving around. It's like the Indy 500. But anyway, welcome to Lincoln, Nebraska. This was fun. Everything went very smooth. It always makes me happy when the sim is comparatively stable. Two hour, 34 minute flight from... Uh, why do I keep wanting to say Chatsworth? Carlsbad, California. Chatsworth versus Carlsbad. Big difference. Um, two hour, 34 minute flight to Lincoln, Nebraska. And here we are. K-L-N-K. -K. Glad you could join us. Enjoy the game today. Everybody have a great week. Hope everybody's doing great. And we'll see where we head next. I'll take suggestions in the comments. Who knows where we are going to be as our next destination. But I, I love flying any place is fine with me. With the right company, you can go anywhere. All right, friends. Left engine. There you go. KCRQ. KLNK. Two hours, 32 minutes, 38 seconds. Time of flight. Welcome to Nebraska. Take care.